Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Lisa, I'm a group of a YouTuber that's trying to be a long no buy. And today I'm planning on having a little bit of a shadow video that I don't know how it will go. But I'm just going to try and we will see if I get something out of this um, or not, but... I have had my YouTube channel out for a while, <laughs> for a couple of years. Um, I started my English makeup channel f about four years ago, a little bit more, and I've really tried like different things and what I want to do and what I feel like is my thing. And it is of course like always evolving, you change, you change what you like, you change what you like to watch, it changes what people like to watch. And when I look back on my YouTube channel, I have been trying a lot of things. Either that has been really popular, or things that I want to try to have... Um, to use my collection more. So I have tried a lot of different series on my channel. And I thought that we could chat about, or I could chat about them and see like which one of these that you remember and how long you have been with me and i am a person that like the end of the year is always my favorite when it comes to youtube when people start to like reflecting of how the year has been the favorite products the favorite eyeshadow bases eyeshadow bases eyeshadow palettes the favorite base products and everything i really really love that and i think it's really fun to do that but like it's only December once a year. It's only the end of the year once. Um, it's only the beginning of the year once as well. But I hope that you get what I mean. Like, I am one of these persons that like, if I'm going to start with something new, I like it to do it in the beginning of something. I like to start new things in the beginning of the year. That's why I started my no buy on the 1st of January this year, because I like to start things in the beginning of something. And now I'm just going to sit a little bit more comfortable. So I thought that I can go through the series that I've done. So I checked all, I'm going to check like my playlist that I have here on YouTube and I'm always trying to have like playlists for things because I think it's easier to find if you want to see more of something. So yeah, I guess we just hop into this and I hope that you will like that, will like this video. So I thought that I could start with, um, maybe not like a typical series that way, but I haven't done it for the whole year, I think. Have I? No, I, yeah, yeah, I think I maybe have done it once this year, but that is a collab. It was one time at YouTube that collab was a really, really big thing, like either talk about different eyeshadow palettes or do like a challenge when it comes to makeup and I have done maybe not a lot of collab videos but I've done a few and I have always think that it's so so fun. It's fun to see like the person that you're collabing with first off to talk a little bit with the the person you're collabing with because that is not I have friends here on YouTube that I consider as friends, but we don't talk that much. But when you're doing a collab, you have to talk to each other and that I really, really like. And also like, I have done some of these face off. I really do miss them when you, that is like a palette bingo together with someone. So you get the same shades and you're going to do a look with it. And I think that is really, really fun. And I love to do these collabs just to see what the other person is doing and that has been one of my favorite things that I've done on our channel now it has been such a long time since I actually did a collab and I don't think it is like that popular anymore and that makes me a little bit sad because I think it's really fun and easy way also to like find new people because YouTube is so freaking big so it's always fun if you watch someone and then they recommend a person it always is like you find a new favorite on YouTube and that I love so I am really sad that I'm not doing more collabs I don't know why maybe I should just ask someone to do a collab with me I guess but I do actually miss collabs 
I also have had some series that hasn't been that... Uh, I have been so excited about them in the beginning, but then it has done, just... I have done two or three parts and then I have just like forget about them. And one of them is a second impression. And that I did with palettes that I have only used once and that I have made a first impression on and then haven't used them for a while and then I did a second impression like see how do I feel about this now? Has it been like a palette that I should have used more or is this a palette that maybe they didn't impress me so much the first time and still doesn't impress me and should I really been have this palette in my collection? I only think I did two parts of that one. I thought it was fun though, but it's nothing that suits me anymore. Like, I don't know if that is a, a thing for me. I don't know if I have that many palettes in my collection that I actually used once. Maybe a couple. I don't know, but it was way worse before <laughs> before I did my decluttering video in the end of last year. So yeah, that is a series that I like don't think I want to continue with and I haven't done a part for like, I don't know how long. Another video that I did that was inspired by, I think it was Annette's makeup corn from the beginning if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I had it like spin the wheel, so I put in very, very, very many of my palettes in, you know, this randomizing things on your phone. And I did put in palettes and then I did put in different things to do. So like only use matte, only use shimmers, use all the mattes in a palette, use all the shimmers in a palette, do a palette bingo, do a monochromatic look. I did that and that was actually really fun. It was a really fun way like to, when I had no idea what I wanted to do and just let the randomizing thing pick a palette for me. I thought that that was really really fun and it was fun to challenge myself. Now I don't know though if I could come up with things to do actually. I have no idea. I did a couple of these videos and I thought it was fun but like I don't know if that is something that I should pick up again. I don't think so. But one series that I do really miss and uh, that I know that um, you liked and especially one of you and that is the Zodiac series that I did 2019 I think it was. I have the Zodiac palette from Colourpop that is uh, a shade for each and every zodiac sign and I did um, once a month I did a look around the color of the month and it was really fun most of the months it was fun some of the months was really really awful but it was really fun to really like dig into a palette and really use all of the shades and really like trying to concentrate only on, the, on that shade and like make that shade pop. I thought that that was really fun and it was fun to have a palette going for that long and like doing a video per month with that palette. I did really actually like that and I'm thinking about doing that again, maybe not in the exact same way but with another palette, but I really don't know what I should do. But I really have liked, because I have had some other series where I have tried to use a palette either each week or each month. And it has been fun, but I have always struggle to like keep up with things. Like with my Nobis, I Nobi that I having now, I'm still keeping up with it and I'm kind of impressed with myself. I did another series that was a monthly thing and that was palette of the month and I did try to use the palette three or four times each and every month and it was fun but <laughs> I, I can't remember how long I came with that one. It wasn't like the whole year 
uh, maybe to May or something. And it was fun, but I didn't put up that many videos. So it was a bit hard to keeping up with that one. But that is actually also a thing that I think that I could try again. Um, but uh, yeah, it was fun. And it, I tried to took some palettes that I haven't used that much. And I have always liked to try to use my collection more. Especially this year with my no buy. I have think I never ever have played so much with my collection that I'm doing now and that series was really really fun. Another thing that I still do and I think like I have found my thing and that is my theme weeks. I have done I have been doing theme weeks for so long. I think that my first like real real theme week I think that was UVS Place Week and that was back when I had seven palettes from US Place. I used the palette for each and every day for a week. And it was just so, so fun. And after that, I have done, I think, two Nabla weeks. I have done two Halloween weeks. I have done a Shroud week, a Menagerie week, a Collab week. That has been my favorite, I think. And Theme weeks is just a thing that I really love to do. And I'm... Now this look I have, this is the last look in my Gloss Gods theme week and I've been really loving to do this and it feels like I've really found my thing. My thing is maybe theme weeks and I just think it's so fun to try palettes from the same brand. It's not always that I do that kind of theme week but mostly and it's just fun to like compare the different palettes from the same brand. So I have been loving my theme weeks and that is definitely the that I'm going to continue with because I think it's so, so fun. And you seem to like it and I think it's really easy like to know and how to plan even though this sh week has been shit with planning but it's easy to plan. I don't have to think about which palette I should use and it has really made things easier for me and I do really love that I finally figure out a thing that works so so good for me and that is my theme weeks. I think it's, it's fun. I just don't know how often I should do them because it takes it maybe doesn't take like a super long while, like a super hard thing to do them, but it takes some planning and planning isn't my, one of my good qualities. Another series that I started that I thought was going to be my thing, like I think that I was thinking like, yeah, this is going to be so fun for me, I'm going to love it. And that was all the look new palette. I think I only did two parts of that one. Uh, I did pick out some looks that I have been doing since before that I have really really liked but I think that I can do them better. So I did recreate my own looks and it was really fun. It was really fun to see how much I have changed and like if I can because I have always had like a picture in my head like how I want to look to be like how I want to look to look but it's not always that I have had the ability to do it and I think I'm better now than I was before and it was just fun to redo the look and try to get it more of my style now and try to get it more as I think I wanted it when I first did it so I think I'm going to try to pick that up maybe it feels only like this theme things is going to take up so much time. But I don't know. Maybe I don't need to do theme weeks that often. Maybe just mon once a month. I don't know. But that thing was really fun. To recreate my own looks. Um, I think it's uh, good to like look back to see where you were. A couple of years ago and like see how far you come and it's always fun to I think it's much of that in beauty YouTube like you're doing a look once and then you never do it again because who want to see the same look over and over again um, which I though think it's fun 
in one way maybe not the exact same but yeah I think it's fun to try <clears throat> to perfect the look or to make it look the more your new style maybe now my voice <clears throat> is getting a little bit <clears throat> And yeah, I have done some more series, but um, <laughs> one series that I was super proud of, but that I didn't like, did make it with, it was my, I've talked a little bit about this in another video, but it was last December when I did, no, not last December, <laughs> it was 2020. I did 31 days of red and I was planning on putting up 31 videos like a vlog mess and um, I did get sick so I didn't I, I wasn't able to finish it but that now when I look back on it <laughs> I thought it was fun but like in the in the beginning of the year after, I was like, what the fuck I have done? Why did I put myself through that? And um, now I just look back at it as it was a fun thing. But what I can remember, it wasn't. I am though thinking of having somewhat of a um, thing in December. Not a 31 days, maybe a 12 days thing. And I think I know what I want to do. But I'm going to hold on it a little bit more because I haven't perfected the idea yet. And I am going to try to plan my November. Um, it's the beginning of November now. But I'm going to try to plan the rest of the November. And I'm also going to try to plan December. So, yeah. I don't know what this was for kind of video. I hope that you have liked it. I... Just wanted to look back at things that I've done on my channel and reminisce, I guess. So I hope that you thought this was a fun video and I will have, I guess, more than one get read with me this year and, and talk about what I want to do next year and yeah, about this thing in December. I think I'm going to tell you in a couple of weeks what I will do because I think I will try to do something. But yeah, that was all for this video. I do hope that you liked it. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And please comment which one of my old series has been your favorite or if you do really like my theme weeks. It's always fun to know what you like the most. I love my few weeks. I think it's so fun. So yeah, if you're not subscribing, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!